in, heading into Butte with Daredevil. Daredevil wanted to go see Butte because that's where Evil Knievel's from. Why did you turn that up? <laughs> now you're on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> so here's Butte. I need more music. And I'm driving with my knee. He's professional. I'm kind of going all over the road. So here's Butte, Montana, where Evil Knievel is from. So we're taking Daredevil to see where Evil Knievel was from. Because that's his idol. Fancy. Fancy. Ah, someone's going to call the cops on me for filming. And then I have Washington plates, so they're going to arrest me. And that right there, as I go all over the road, is what is called a gallus frame. Derek, did you know that was called a gallus frame? I didn't care enough. Really? Didn't care enough. Tell us how you really feel. I didn't care enough. Okay. So, and then up there, which I don't have a zoom lens, is the Lady of the Rockies. It's a humongous Virgin Mary statue. <laughs> that wasn't my Virgin Mary sound. Okay. So we're gonna go tour the Copper King Mansion with Daredevil, but I think there might be an Evil Knievel Museum here somewhere, but I don't know where it's at. So we'll just do the top Copper King Mansion. And this town's very run down, but it used to be a very bustling metropolis-like city. And now it's just all run down and dirty, which is sad. So I will turn the camera back on when we get back, when we get to Copper King Mansion. Okay, so here we are at the Copper King Mansion, and we're going to go do a tour of it with Daredevil. Okay, so here we go. That little grate was used um, to sweep all the ashes into it. It would just go down to the garbage instead of into an ashtray because that was more convenient. So, yeah. Um, do you want to get a picture of it? Oh, no, you're fine. Okay, okay. This is like a cherry where like, it's all up on it. Right? Oh, no. Okay. Um, and then all of our chandeliers are gas carbide lamps pointing up and electricity pointing down. Um, and he had both installed because he wasn't really sure which one was going to be the more reliable light source. So, keep up with it. Because <laughs> um, we did actually have electricity before New York City did. So, and even in a low light fixture, shows the case. <laughs> Um, and then these little uh, door looking like things are actually shutters. They would just come right out of a wall and um, ta da! So cool. You wouldn't have to uh, buy your own shutters, you would already have them built right into the home. Those are awesome. Um, Lark liked to make stuff for his convenience. <laughs> and then that great punch bowl up there, right next to the line one, was owned by Clark. Which one? The great one. Right oh, this one. The, next to the line one. Mm -hmm. And then those five silk screen prints on the wall are of Yellowstone, and um, Clark got them. He was a senator in 1900. All right, so we'll head out into the main hall now. Um, to prevent squeaking. So you really won't hear much squeaking um, on the floor. Um, so this is probably the only um, uh, room you could actually sneak up on someone in. <laughs> um, and then there's the likeness of Clark above the fireplace there. Um, he, um, well, he's not the little angel. He's the one above it. <laughs> um, and then all the walls were done with a plaster mix with paint-like material. And they took um, a bunch of comb-like tools and made those little indent marks down the wall. So when the gas carbide lamps were on, it would create a waterfall effect down the wall. Um, and then the case work in here, um, it was done with reverse carving. So that made it into the mold. And then they inlaid it with plaster. And then um, they took bronze leaves to give it a 3D effect. So oh, cool. um, yeah, so in here, they're different in every room. Um, in the entryway, it's just gold. In here, it's bronze, and um, and only on the first floor that we have these. But I'll show you guys the other ones later. And then those green curtains in there—that is called the cozy. 
Um, it's where basically, you guys can look in there if you want, but it's just a mudroom. Well, I mean, it was a mudroom, but now it, um, it's just where we keep our tour guide stuff in. You know, my uh, purse. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, pamphlets and dusting stuff. But it was a mudroom, we know that because they're built in benches. So, yeah. Oh, cool. And then um, this table is the original cherry hardwood table, um, and it's original to the home. And that's Mrs. Smith up there. And then um, the staircase, um, we call the Staircase of the Nation. Um, it alternates bird and flower, um, and they all represent a different nation um, of 1884, all the panels do. And they're actually featured in the World's Fair, the panels. All right, so now we'll head upstairs when you guys are ready. Oh, and this is all hand art, so, I mean, Think of the patient so whittling away like a little block of wood for like hours. Totally, yeah. Not imagine. Oh, and then um, this, uh, I believe this panel represents either Japan or China because it is a dragon. Sorry, I'm straggling behind. if you have all the servants to help you. <laughs> all right, so if you look at this mirror from the angle at which I'm standing at, and you can see it on that side too, um, you can see little crushed diamonds in the back of the mirror. Um, it's oh. called a diamond dust back mirror, um, and they're, yeah, they Clark would show off as well. Wow. Um, and then this screen has a portrait of Anne Boleyn on crushed velvet. Um, and all the all color in her tiny little beads. Do you guys know who uh, Anne Boleyn was? No. Well, uh, she was one of the wives. Okay. Um, so this bathroom um, is ironically just like the main hall, and it's a bathroom. So, <laughs> um, but all the floors are cherry, and they're cut against the grain again. And they have a little bit more fun with the combs in here, though, because you have a picture of a necklace, a shaver and a mug, um, a flower vase, a pipe. The flower vase is kind of above that circle right there. A pipe, ribbons, and tons of bows. So, and geometric um, shapes were really modern for 100 years ago. And then um, the tub has the fixtures on the side like that because um, it was more convenient to have them on the side than that reach all the way down at the end. Um, and the water just come out of that little silver disc. 
I didn't know that for like the longest time that I worked here. I was like, how do they take baths in here? But yeah. Um, and I call that the olden day hot tub. Because it's so big. Cool. Back in the day hot tub. <laughs> so Clark went kind of door crazy in here. There's one, two, three, four, and five doors. Um, and there are 90 main doors in the home. Alright. Um, so how's your summer so far? Good couple years. Good. <laughs> working a lot. Yeah. How long have you been working here? Um, since like late May. So nice. Um, so this was one of the additions made in 1917. And like I said, he made the additions for his two new daughters, Anna La Chapelle. And that's a picture of Andrea above the mirror. She actually died at age 17 from spinal meningitis, sadly. So um, and then this bed um, is actually Clubfoot George's bed. Um, you guys know Clubfoot George's? Club Clubfoot Club George? Clubfoot George. Uh, well, no. He actually was one of the alleged criminals of Virginia City. And when the vigilantes illegally hung him, they actually cut off his club foot and stuck it in formaldehyde, and it's now in the Virginia City Museum. So wow. if you ever go over there, look for his foot, because this was his bed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> How possesses someone to cut off I, I honestly couldn't tell. Like, why would, like, I don't, like, he was a criminal. I think that they wanted to prove it, so they're like, here's his foot in this jar, so it's <laughs> um, But anyway, so the elegance really wasn't continued in this room. The ceilings are lower, the transom is just glass, and we just have electricity. But obviously electricity was more reliable by 1917. And then that closet right there is actually just for her hats. <laughs> Hat closet. <clears throat> All right, so if you allow all me to do, get through. Yeah. All right, so um, this is your guest room. Um, and again, the elegance isn't continued, the ceilings are lower, the transom just glass, so. foot sprayer that has a little like a bendy head thing so wow. <laughs> pretty convenient so I actually had a girl who was standing it last night said that it felt like she was drowning <laughs> so uh, <laughs> but it was funny um, and then these two windows are etched for privacy and then um, you would connect this cord into this machine and what it did is it would send electric shocks through your head onto your head so it would cure baldness Cure wellness, but it didn't. <laughs> and then down there, um, that would cure everything from sore feet to cancer. Um, and you'd have to suck up different types of gases, and it probably didn't really, it probably harmed them more. But at least it didn't kill their hope. So you know, it's okay. Um, all right, so we'll go right into the butler's room. Originally, only allowed one piece of furniture. Oh, this is the butler's room. I kind of skipped ahead of myself. Yeah, and he uh, was the only servant allowed on the uh, second floor. They all lived on the third floor, and he um, lived here. And I think he lived in here because the butler, you know, is like the main head of the household. So, anyway, what I was saying was he was only allowed one piece of furniture. So all this stuff would be gone, and this would be in the room. Um, this is called a Murphy bed, and it would probably be, like I said, in the middle of the room. And um, the bed actually swings out from the back of the entire thing. And you have these handles to pull it out, so. Oh, cool. And you have your closet and your drawers and all your shelves. So hmm. it's uh, basically this whole life in this little piece of furniture. <laughs> and then uh, these four prints on the wall are original Courier and Ive prints. And then down there, that little chair is made from the back of a broken cello. It's called a This one is? Mm -hmm. Oh. It's cute. Cool. 
All right, so uh, you got, are you taking a picture? Okay, I always feel bad if I take oh. the line off. Oh, no. People are taking pictures. <laughs> no, you're fine. Okay. <laughs> you look really good for your age. Wow, what do you do? <laughs> I'm only in four weeks. And then um, there's a picture of Mrs. Cody above the National Geographic, and that's after she graduated high school. Because you can see everyone in Mrs. Cody's family has an antique collection of something, so. <laughs> um, but we believe that the nuns replaced the ceilings. And um, these three chandeliers are from the St. Patrick's Church in Butte, New York. <laughs> um, and then the reason the floors are so scuffed up in here is because this was used as the girls' central gym. So, huh. yeah, I, th I think over there they had, like, the bar, the weights. <laughs> Um, so have you guys ever heard of an Edison phonograph before? Yeah. Yes. Well, this one's still in place, um, and it skips a little bit because we need to uh, oil it, but it's pretty cool. So, um, all these uh, cylinders are songs. Hopefully it doesn't sound weird right now. <laughs> and there it goes. It starts to skip, but... <laughs> Usually, I think it's just this like specific cylinder because usually you get farther than that. Oh, cool. And then uh, this red dress right here was ordered by Anna LaChapelle, who was Clark's second wife for this woman. She is Mr. Selby's wife, and that's Mr. Selby. And if you don't remember, like I said in the beginning, Mr. Selby was Clark's um, best businessman and associate. So. Cool. Um, but. She ordered it for her from Paris, um, and it has removable sleeves, so you can have it long with long sleeves or with short sleeves. Mm. So that's really pretty. And she was super tiny. Can't tell. <laughs> um, but this is a picture of the dress without the sleeves, and that woman actually removed three of her ribs, um, and her name is Miriam Clark. She was one of Clark. She removed three of her ribs to become a skinnier, which is absolutely insane. Wow. Yeah. Creepy. That's <laughs> the things people did. Mm -hmm. Dolly Parton's done it. Wow. And then uh, back here, this organ is from the uh, Sacred Heart Church. And here's a picture of Sacred Heart right there. Um, my grandma actually went to school there. So. Oh, cool. Um, but it took an entire summer to disassemble and bring up here. And it still plays today. We uh, just don't really play it because it'll sound very loud in the house. <laughs> um, and then you guys know time cards that we use today for work and stuff? Mm -hmm. Well, this is what my nerves would use. Um, they would clock in. So if I was number, let's see, 20, um, and I just wanted to uh, clock in for work, I'd punch in. And um, I do the same about 12 hours later of hard manual labor in the mines. Oh. So. Cool. Yeah. And then all of this right here is eye testing equipment. Um, here's a little card that you'd have to read off of. You can see that's a little harder than our standard E today. Um, and they actually um, stopped doing that because children can't read, really. Yeah. yeah so. um, but here's all of our little different spectacles and stuff. So. Oh, cool. Yeah. All right, so we can head into the chapel to straight on into the right. So uh, this is the chapel. Um, it was originally a servant's room. You can see it's really big for a servant. So, and they have a nice, pretty window view. Um, but uh, when the Berkeley pit expanded over Meterville, uh, Mrs. Cody actually um, wanted to save all this stuff because all the churches were gonna throw away, throw it away. So she saved it all, brought it up here, and made it into a chapel. 
And our oldest Bible is on the end here from 1864, and it even has edges, so. <laughs> bubble. Or, or I always say bubble, no. Bum Bible thumper. I don't know why I said bubble. <laughs> 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 um, and then um, that one right there is St. Patrick with the snakes at his feet. Oh, the reason I said that was just because I was thinking out loud, because my friend um, came and got a tour here, and he, all, he was just kidding around me. <laughs> this one on the end is what you're talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Could thump someone with that, I guess. <laughs> Knock them out. So uh, this isn't normally everyone's favorite room, <laughs> but um, this is the doll room, um, and it's um, basically it used to be a servant's room too. You can see that it goes all the way back there. So I mean, it's a pretty big room. It's bigger than my room, so you can say that I'm the servant around my house. No, I'm just <laughs> is that a closet over there? What? Yeah, it's just a closet. Oh, cool. Um, and uh, Mrs. Cody and Mrs. Smith um, brought their collection up here. Um, so you guys don't have to look at boring old uh, servant's room for tours. So, but this horse is special because he can rock himself across the floor. <laughs> so it's pretty. Good. And then uh, this horse is special because he has a real leather saddle, a real horsehair tail, and um, real stirrups. So. Cool. And then uh, our oldest doll there is in the yellow, Marie Antoinette, with her head still on, if you know the story behind <laughs> her, because she had her head chopped off. <laughs> Everyone always says, does she have a removable head? But no. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, all those penguins on that side of the wall um, were owned by Clancy. Um, she was Mrs. Smith's youngest daughter, and she collected them. So, yeah. Cool. She's still, uh, she actually came here a few weeks ago and brought more, brought them in, put them in there. <laughs> oh, cool. So we'll head down to the library. So all the bookcases in here are original, and we actually just reopened it again because um, the ceilings were well. The, this corner oh. was ceiling was totally messed up. <clears throat> the water damage was so bad you couldn't see it. We actually just redid the roof, so it's all good now. Um, but, um, we had to redo it, um, because you couldn't even see it, but each corner represents, um, one of the four arts of the time, so that's how they classified the, um, arts into four pieces. So it goes music, literature, painting, and architecture, and oddly enough, architecture was one of the arts, so it was pretty weird. <laughs> um, and then the, uh, beer signs up there were all owned by Clark, except for the Elf Lodge set in the corner. And the um, blue one, which is the fourth one over. Um, and Mrs. Cody's children, Mrs. Spick and John, actually started collecting them in high school before they even considered purchasing the home. So, some things are just meant to be. <laughs> and then, um, here's a picture of that mansion I was talking about. Um, it's huge. I wish they still had it. Too bad it's torn down, though. I think there's condos there now or something. Um, I don't know. I haven't been in New York in a few years, so... It, but um, all these uh, figurines on the mantle are Chinese immortals, that's what they're called. They all represent famous people of China, so. And then, um, and they're from China, like actually from the country. And then um, on this shelf, these are called Chinese soapstones, and they are um, all from China as well. Cool. And then um, that's a picture of Mrs. Snake up there. And which one? Who was she again? How's it not? Um, she was Mrs. Cody's daughter. Okay. And that's Aaron's mom. Oh, cool. Isn't it, Aaron? Alrighty, so we'll go across the hall here into the uh, master. This was Clark's house in New York. Um, 
So if you can't tell, this is right above the octagon room because it's an octagonal shape. And we're finally facing Granite Street. And then these two curtains are French. Um, they're from France and they're 140 years old. And then uh, this couch is an original, so a billionaire would have sat there. Wow. Cool. And then um, that's a painting um, called Slave Boy by Ethel Van Ness. It was painted in Chicago in 1900. So it's over 100 years old. And then that's a picture of the infamous Madonna and Child. Um, and we don't know when it was, um, how old it is or anything, or who did it. Um, because it's either copywritten or mastered to the apprentice because there's no signature. Oh. And I always show this on tours because I think it's kind of funny. It's on the script, but it's a lighter. It's pretty big. <laughs> uh, it doesn't work, but um, I always say the rich had big lighters because they had big pockets. But, um, <laughs> no big deep pockets. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, you can just go into the uh, bathroom when you're ready. Okay, so this is the bathroom. Um, the ceramic goes all the way around the doors. So that's different. Um, and then the picture frame is from St. Patrick's Church. It holds all of Mrs. Smith's small purses and manticombs. She's pretty creative. <laughs> and then these two stained glass windows are from the Deep Public Library. Um, when it burned down and they were dismantling it, they actually, um, we're gonna throw all of them away, but thank goodness Mrs. Cody was there because she saved seven of them, and we have three still left in the home. Hmm. And one's downstairs, and I'll show you guys. Um, and you see how there's rainbows on the floor? That's actually caused by these two uh, diamonds and this little oval thing. Um, they actually bend the light um, to make that happen, so um, they actually don't even make those anymore. They're one of a kind. So it'd be bad if we broke those windows. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so if you'll uh, follow me downstairs into the billiard room. Yeah, so cool. that's what that is. And um, 
Yeah, I feel like cool. it's a fuller song, but it is quite the workout. And I'm super out of shape, so I mean, that's the point. But um, you can just flip the uh, um, the lever, and it, the, all that stuff goes back in, and you still have your little pedals here, and they still work. It could be like a regular piano or that. Yeah, and you just slide this across, and it's and it still plays like a normal piano. Cool. So, very cool. All right, so we'll go out and I'll show you guys this first lock of my picture up here. So uh, this is one of my favorite pictures because as well as stories behind it. Well, there's Clark as usual holding uh, his hat down there. And then on the very far back left, that's Walter Clark. Uh, he actually died in the uh, Titanic um, and um, yeah, that's what's sad. <laughs> the top his, left? Yes, the top left. He's leaning against the post. Okay. Um, and he uh, actually, his name is mentioned in the movie. So there's a little movie trivia for you. Cause, oh, cool. <laughs> and I think when the writers wrote it, they uh, actually looked up names of people who died. So. Yeah. Awesome. And then that's Miriam Clark, the woman who removed three of her ribs. Oh, yeah. You can tell she did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at her waist. <laughs> yeah. It's nothing. Um... But her sister actually married Marky Staley, who was like the very biggest rival of Clark. So I was like a huge no. So I'm sure he felt pretty betrayed <laughs> after that. Boy, yeah. But Marky Staley was definitely more well liked than Clark was. Clark was kind of different. But anyway, I uh, <laughs> hope these plates were hand painted in China and glazed in England. So they had to be sent back and forth. And then that's uh, Clark up there in his New York home. And since it is just a picture of him, I always say that that looks like he's wearing a hairpiece. You know, because it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he did have a lot of hair. You can't tell. So much hair. All right, if you guys want to migrate down here, show you uh, this picture. So we call this one the three generation photo. It's Clark the first on the right, Clark the second on the left, and in the middle is Clark the third, the man who actually uh, died in the airplane crash. Hmm. It's pretty sad now because he's a baby. <laughs> All right, so, um, and over here, we actually have Clark's initials etched into the wall, uh, W, A, and C. So, now we say he was marking his territory. Cool. All right, so we're just straight in to the kitchen. So, uh, this is the kitchen. Um, and still uses our break room, so that's why you have stuff everywhere. But um, this was redone by uh, Mrs. Cody. And um, these uh, chairs are actually, um, they are from the first ice cream parlor in Butte called Rosenstein's. And here's a picture of Rosenstein's. But it broke down. And that's the uh, third stained glass window from the Butte Public Library. And here's the library here. And there's the window where it's where it would be. Huh. And this is one of the first um, electric stoves, um, and it actually, um, it actually uh, is still under a lifetime warranty with the Montana Power Company, which no longer exists. So it actually outlasted the company. <laughs> wow. And you can see in the little ad here it says it's almost human, which I think is funny. Huh. <laughs> and then um. This right here, this is of the, uh, well, this is the quick meal um, stove. Um, it's not that very quick, though, because you have to chop up your own wood in order to heat your own food. So, Fun. that one's definitely more human-like. <laughs> and then that's that little call box that I was talking about upstairs. You press the button, and the little air will flip up to which room you need to be in. Um, it still works today. Uh, it just um, sounds just like our doorbell, so we don't have it on anymore. Oh. So I don't know how those servants did it. <laughs> wow. And then uh, this is a Hooser cabinet. It was made in Indiana. You can do almost anything. You can sift your own flour. Um, you can uh, store all your fine china in here. Um, you put your sugar in here. And you can hide it all away. Cool. And if you want more counter space, you just pull the counter out. It comes out pretty far. So. Cool. And then this is the automatic ice box. You would always have water on tap. Here's a little spout. Water would just go in here. Um, Slammed with ceramic to keep it cool, and even the lid is. Because the only thing that was really that automatic about it 
was that if you forgot to empty your drip pan, it would automatically spill all over the floor. So it also doubles as a floor washer. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this is the butler's pantry. Um, we just keep all of our fine china in here now. Um, we have these huge sliding glass doors. <laughs> So, it's pretty crazy. Um, and you can even see the detailing that the, they like went into. Like, this is all hand done, just in the pantry, which is ridiculous. Wow. <laughs> and then that stained glass window up there, that is our only roof, or stained glass, what did I say? Sorry, that transom is our only ruby edge transom we have in the home. Oh, mm, cool. So, the small into the So um, this is our uh, um, dining room, obviously. Uh, it's where our bed and breakfast guests eat every morning. And then all those fish plates on that side of the wall, it's look really pretty. They're all owned by Clark. And then um, the ceiling is actually painted with oils instead of a fresco. So, And they match the silver case work under the ceiling. That's why I love this ceiling the most. Cool. And then um, this window here, it's actually a door. Um, it just goes right in, um, it goes right out onto the deck. So, yeah, Clark would could entertain his guests out on the patio. <laughs> so if you guys just want to take a step, like right here, I'm just going to go into the parlor. So I'm just like on my door. You guys need to go under it. Some people are like, what? And they go under it. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, the reason, the reason you guys can't come in here is because of this 160-year-old Persian carpet. Um, and the portrait on it is called Tabritz. And um, we'd like to keep it around for another 160 years so it's not open for traffic yet. <laughs> um, but... All of the figurines on the mantle are bisque. And then um, you can see the little cubby holes here. Oh, cool. And then um, this table is an original piece. Um, we knew it went right here because in um, photos of the home, there is actually Clark, there's a picture of Clark leaning over the table like this. So, I um, mean, Mrs. Cody bought this table before she even considered buying the home. So like the beer steins is meant to be. And Clark actually touched this, so. Cool. <laughs> and then um, the chandelier has an onk center right there. And it matches the marble top of the table. Because Clark was kind of crazy about matching stuff. <laughs> and then this is a royal Vienna vase that Mrs. Smith actually converted into a lamp. And then um, that is the copy of the picture you guys saw upstairs above the National Geographic's. Um, Mrs. Um, Cody, well, that was done two years after her death by Marilyn Mason, who was a pretty famous painter around Montana. <clears throat> so the woodwork in there is golden oak, and the woodwork in here is mahogany. So that contradicted Clark's plan to have these huge sliding doors. Um, you can see that this side is golden oak and this side is mahogany. It splits right down the middle. So I can't imagine how much that would uh, cost. <laughs> you can even see the detailing up there, that is. Just crazy. Wow. Cool. Yeah, well, that's our tour. Cool. Hope you guys liked it, especially after your 20th time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come 20 more. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is cool. I learned something new, too, in the diamond mirror. Oh, really? I've never heard that before, oh. so. So it's pretty cool. Hey, okay, so if you guys owe me, I got my name wrong. No, they don't. <laughs> okay, so this closes our tour of the Copper King Mansion, and Daredevil liked it. Did you guys like it? Yes. Very much. Me too, for my 20th time.